Hey guys, D Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Last time we did some more side quests on Windfall, and then we were able to finally take advantage of our vacation home here in the private oasis. But fun is over, and if you like having fun be over, then like this video, comment, and subscribe. We actually need to get a move on because our next destination, oddly enough, is very far away and is not worth sailing to. So instead, we're going to warp it up. Not needing to read this. Or... Okay. A great start. Yeah, this is definitely probably my favorite song in the game just because of how much utility it has. Alright, so we're actually going to be headed to the Forsaken Fortress, and as we have seen in the past, you can't go to this spot yet for some reason, so I will take a, I guess this is the closest one, Windfall, not really ideal, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is the first time that we will actually have been able to go to the Forsaken Fortress in a long time. Ever since we met up with Tetra and the pirates first and they bamboozled us, sending us way, way, way away from here. So we need to change this wind. I would like to know the record for the amount of times somebody has used the Wind Waker after getting the swift sail in this game. Because it's probably, the record is mine, I guarantee it. The Wind Waker made a lot of sense in the original. No swift sail, having to actually take your time. But here, oh no. We're, we're going full speed ahead. I just do this for Geography's sake, we'll say that. Have I been to this? This looks like the northern... Ferry... Whatever. There's gunboats over here. I don't think I've ever shown what happens when you... Whoop. Whatever happens when you encounter them. Have I figured this island out either? I'm just gonna be picking up stuff along the way. Filling that distraction meter. Oh, we're just cruising on over this fish. Probably need to get him some bait. I don't think I've ever actually spent... Well, we only have one bait left. Way worse. I don't think I've actually ever invested the time. Like, when I've played these games in the past, or this game in the past, I can definitely say I never did any of this. So, you're getting the full kit and caboodle here. You're welcome. Chart it up. Scribble it down, boy. We're not too far. We're only two squares removed. What is this? Heart-shaped booty island. Little shot master on windfall. Oh, yeah. So, that's a bit of a tease. I don't know why they would tell you that already, but there is magic armor out there. How to get it? Who knows? I mean, I do know, but I'm not quite ready to invest time into that because the the need to do that does take a while. It's not as simple as... Have I been to both of these islands? The, the need to do that, it just takes a long time and it's a lot of warping. I don't really feel like it would be interesting to watch in any capacity. But anyway... We're heading straight west now on a direct course for destruction. We're going to the Forsaken Fortress. This is a lot of fun with there being no music. Not entirely sure why they thought that was a good idea. I also don't remember what this island is here, unless this is just one of those. Oh, exploding things. Hello. What is this? 
What is this? I don't know. Are these bombable rocks? It appears to be. I don't... I really have no... Oh, there's a withered DQ. Yeah, so... This is also another side quest you can do if you're interested in that. I might eventually do that. You basically have to go and get a bunch of water. Oh, it just puts a bunch of minions out here. Okay. Whoop! Didn't mean to throw it. Got these bozos coming after me. And boop. Maybe if we just hang out by this bomb. How about we do that? Oh, that didn't do anything. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if this is like some sort of a... Alright. Well, I thought this would be fun, but it's not. I'm being attacked by wieners and I don't like it. Wait, did I just see... A treasure chart glowy? I did. There was a beacon of light. It was speaking to me. It was saying, Get distracted and don't finish the mission you're on. Something like that. Well, I guess that doesn't matter now. Oops. Need to go this way. Hooray! Alright, so... We're actually headed towards the Forsaken Fortress, which is a little bit... I guess... Less cool in the daytime? Kind of kills a little bit of the aesthetic of... How dark and scary this is. Doesn't really feel very forsaken in the daytime, but that's okay. We're still gonna go and steal all of their goodies. Now that we're here, we can do that. Whoa. It immediately becomes nighttime, so that's nice. There's a little bit of destroyed decor around here. That's nice. Let's go ahead and grab this little dollar do here. Like I said, as I'm getting further into the game, I'm going to need a lot of money. Oh, come on. Get out of here. All right, we're going to have to cruise back to it. You will need money. I don't think you need money in the same quantities as you used to, which is nice. It's a kind of a quality of life thing that they did in the game. But previously, why is this not? Okay. I hit the button to salvage and it was like, no. I'm not close enough to it. You can always hear it. I mean, just turn your headphones up or whatever you use to listen to this. Are you kidding me? On the other side. What about on this side? Game, come on. We don't have to do this every time. It's not a requirement. All right, so it's right by here. And stop. And salvage. There we go. Fourth time, third time's the charm. But yeah, gathering any sort of money in these little quantities is obviously nice. We'll take that. We will need a lot more, of course, as I mentioned, because when we were putzing around previously, we got this bottle. And you could have gotten a, a heart piece if you wanted to, but I decided not to do that. Now, one of the things you do want to do when you're over here is go through your treasure charts and open up, wait, this one. So make sure you have 25 opened. That one pertains to the Forsaken Fortress, I believe, and there it is. You can see the little, little indicator here. Obviously these ones are a little bit more prominent than their Whoa, quit. This is absolutely tanking the frame rate. The game's just like, ah! I can't even put an in, I can't even do an input. Oh, we got it on the first try though, thank goodness. Thank Hylia, we don't have time for this. But yeah, this is a treasure chart. Treasure? So you get 200 rupees, which is nice. Now we're gonna try to get the heck out of here. I don't, where's the, I'm looking for a sneaky way in. A back door, perhaps. We can... blow apart. Okay, game. Yeah. Wind Waker on this powerful Wii U hardware 
is not vibing right now. So we're looking for another door. There it is. That looks like a door. How about we open fire as well? Let's return fire. Stop it. Only feels fair. All right, there we go. Let's get inside before we take too much more damage. Yeah. Woo. This is brutal. This is not anything that I'm doing. It's odd, though. The game doesn't really allude to you doing this. Unless it was said after we finished the Tower of the Gods, but I don't remember that. Or, like, Hyrule Castle. I don't remember that. So... You know. How are you supposed to know this? Well, I know it because of notes. How is the average player supposed to know? I don't know. Maybe there's NPCs and stuff you can talk to. All right, we're back. And there are objects blocking our way. What the heck? Barbed wire stumps, that's weird. Okay. We gotta do something about that. Not trying to get caught though. Or are we? We're not, so. Here you go. Here's a little mid-boss fight. Oh! This is Phantom Ganon, for those of you who are uninitiated. If any of you have played Link's Awakening, Link to the Past, and have done any of the Aghanim fights, that's what this is. So, spoilers! Just gotta keep dodging around, and then wait for him to... Shoot his energy balls at you. Fire in his laser! Alright. You can play a little ping pong. In previous iterations of games like Link to the Past, there was, of course, the opportunity to use things like the fishing net or bug catching net to, to do this, which is aesthetically funnier. I guess it didn't really matter what item you used. As long as you were making contact. Something that has a handle, I think, you have to be able to swing it. Oops. Okay, great. I thought I was doing much more better than that, but okay, here we go. Make sure you Z-target him. It does make this easier. Oh, come on. Man, he boosted me all the way into the water. It doesn't stop the fight for some reason. I appreciate that, actually, because... In some previous iterations. Can we talk to the boat right now? He's like, get in there! Do not run. Don't, don't run, you big baby. You're the hero of time. Also, if you are in need of hearts, of course, there are little skulls around the arena. I'd like you to stop doing that. Probably a pretty exciting way to start our episode, at least. Whoa, okay, so... He's clearly been eating his Wheaties. Probably need to just stand back. There you go. This is kind of a cool shot, though, at least. Who knew that the battle for Hyrule would be done in athletics? But you weren't expecting that. Whoop! Just gonna go ahead and get a little safety heart here. I do have plenty of options with the soup and the blue potion, so I'm not really that worried, but it'd be cool if the game would properly target him. Thanks. I'm gonna stand in the middle of the arena this time. I'm gonna swing a little bit sooner, basically in preparation for the energy to come at you. I don't know if there's a set amount of times that you do that. Oh, I'm not going to be able to hit him. Well, that was dumb. You definitely need to stun him, of course. And then in the process, you will be... Oops. In the pro This is going really well. In the process, you have to stop and attack him once he's down. So hopefully this is enough arena for him to not be a little baby. Ugh, come on. I don't think I've ever actually gotten this far in my casual play playthrough. In my casual playthrough, 
Um, I don't think I've actually gotten this far. So this is new territory for me, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Or if I did get this far, this, for some reason, did not stick with me at all. This fight. My game doesn't really telegraph any of this super well, so... I just gotta hack him up. I'm assuming this is a rule of thirds fight as well. Alright. Okay, we're just gonna... I'm not even gonna look at him. I'm not even gonna look at you. Why wouldn't you look at me during? That's a... That's a deep cut. Ugh. I did the 999 fight with Orca, and I can't even... I can't even play pickleball. It's all the rage these days. I, I imagine that's probably on everybody, every dating profile you've seen for online dating. Things I like to do, travel, adventure, play pickleball. Everybody loves pickleball. It has to be, it's a very trendy thing, there we go. Pick on my balls. All right. Well, that's it then. That's the game. We win. Nice. Ooh, and a prize? Some treasure for fighting? Like that. What could this be? Who knows? This is very exciting. This actually is a pretty good item. This is the Skull Hammer. One of the things that I do appreciate about this game in particular is they did have a pretty decent variety in items you could get. And most of them have good utility as well. Let's test it out. And boop! And boop! Gotcha! Yeah, that's pretty cathartic. You can take out these, these bozos in one hit now. Oh! Double kill! Oh, I didn't... I thought I didn't get anything for that. Yeah, these guys will just infinitely respawn, so... These spikes in the past that I mentioned, this is... What you do. The skull hammer is kind of like the regular hammer from Link to the Past. This is how you progress this way. That is very, very annoying. It makes me kind of think of... When I'm trying to drive and it's... The sun is coming up or down, especially if the ground's wet, and you are just blinded by the light. Revved up like a douche? Boop. Yeah, that's awesome. Go ahead and kill the Boca Blend here. Did I not get this? Could have sworn that this... Oh, thank goodness for some different music. I could have sworn I already got this. It's not. You know, on your second visit, why not just go ahead and grab the compass? Alright, so now we obviously have the ability to cross gaps, which is very nice. And boop! There we go. Boop! And we missed. Very cool! Let's go ahead and just burn our magic. Wow. At least the game does throw you a bone by putting this ladder here. Oh look! Toilets! Latrines. Who's on pooping business? No, stop. I didn't mean to say business. I meant to say duty. Who's on duty duty? <laughs> I get it. Alright. Can I jump up there from here? Is that possible? And whoop. Nope. Okay. Um. Well, that was the way I wanted to go. Obviously. Would love to get back up. We can just kill stuff now, though, which is nice. There's no... You don't have to be afraid of... Ooh, while we're down here. You don't have to be afraid of any of these enemies now. You can just rough them up. But while we're down here with these moblins, might as well... Grab their goodie... Whoa. They have the skull necklaces, if we remember correctly. Did I grab yours already? Or are you the other one? Nope. I mean, I did actually need magic, so that's fine. Ouch. That's rude. Stop. I'm just trying to kite him around a little bit, and... Oops, see ya. That was a pro move. 
There's rats with bombs in here? If we remember the good old days of this area. This is just a little blast from the past. Yeah, I don't know why there I don't know why there are rats with bombs, but the game is very clearly saying you have gone the wrong way. We were supposed to, of course, have gone upstairs. But that works really well if you don't mess it up. So instead we have to take a little bit of the scenic route, which is okay. I don't know how he how he possibly could roll with a giant hammer. But this prevents you from being able to do any of this earlier. But you can come and get a bunch of skull necklaces, which is nice. All right. So, let's go ahead and try that again. The second floor is obviously our prize. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Why can't I knock down these stakes with my grappling hook? How do we, how do we feel about grappling hook items or hook shots? Got to be a fan favorite, I would imagine. All right, let's not mess this up. I kind of felt like a ding dong. Although I don't know, I guess I could go ahead because he's respawned. I might as well go ahead and grab another joy pendant. Although I don't really need it. Oh, that did not do enough. I guess it said it sometimes stuns enemies. It's not a guarantee, which is annoying. Okay. Well, I would like to not screw this up this time. So. I guess you just needed to get a little bit of more of a running head start. How about that? We're doing fine. Viewers, relax, okay? We're just taking the scenic route. We're having some fun in this video game. Okay, I think this is... The right area, maybe? Let me look at these nodes. Okay, this looks okay-ish. Yeah, if you hit that Deku Leaf right away, if you get that herb going real fast, I think the, the boost is probably enough. All right, I hope this is the right way. All right, so we have more Moblins, of course. If we remember all this. Nope. They can throw fire? Yeah, I'm just trying to grab these skull necklaces. I don't know what the reward is for them. What is he throwing? It's not a bomb, because it explodes right away. It's a bag of fiery pee. I'm going to ignore that. We're going to keep going. We're doing well. We're making our ascent like we did previously. This is kind of the way that we went before. You know, we had to do a lot of these dumb security light things. But now, obviously, that is... I'm going to need you to stop. Did I kill him in the backswing? That was awesome. All right, so you have two choices here. You can... Excuse me. You can sidle. Game. Which is my preferred method because of this. Look at his face. Look at him. He's like, scoot, scoot, scoot. I'm just scooting. Look at me just scooting. Oh, yeah, I'm skewed. Or you could, of course, use the Deku Leaf if you want to. But did not do that, obviously. Ooh, arrows? Don't really need that. And you have to do it again. So I don't know if this boy can get to us. This is the one previously that you weren't able to ignore when you had 
the spotlights on you, you would immediately get caught. Whoa! Okay. So maybe we... Whoa! Ugh. That's unfortunate. Alright, I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, and we're back. So... Obviously, you can do sidling, but as we learned very quickly, that is a, a dangerous endeavor. So, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use the old Deku Leaf and fight, I think, an endless horde of mini blends. Really, my only impetus for doing this in this moment is just to farm hearts a little bit. Oh, I can't get to that. Well, that's bogus. Give me your heart. Stop hiding it from me. Yeah, just trying to gain a little bit of life here. I would almost have to guarantee that you're not getting out of the Forsaken Fortress with some other additional bigger fight. So, farming hearts is not really a horrible idea. Magics as well. But this is where we fought the original Boca Blin, the green one, from our initial trip, so. Boop. I feel like that's probably good enough. Famous last words. That opens up this passageway, so we can continue on. Nothing bad is going to happen, viewers. Okay, I promise. Everything is fine. Not ominous at all. Mm hmm? This again? We're back! Part 2! She's probably got, like, Stockholm Syndrome at this point. And <laughs> the seagull. What sound do seagulls make? Caw! That's not... Link, what are you doing? Hi. He's like, I don't know how to open doors. Oh. Surprise seeing you three here. Okay. All right, Tetra. Slow it down with the sass. Monster... what? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. Tetra's seeing our goodies. She's like, look at them cheeks! Ooh! Oh, sword, sorry. Eyes on the prize, Tetra. Is it even possible? Well, just, what do you mean? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing the whole slavery thing. Not chill. Ah, oh, finally, game over. Rescued Errol. Killed Ganon. Perfect. What a sweet ending. Wasn't really expecting the game to only have less than 25 parts. What do you mean? Something that we need to still take care of? We have... We've completed our objective. Uh... Well, the huge reward that you should be getting anyway is quality time with us, so maybe slow your roll. What are you talking about? The bur oh no. It's the government. They're after us. There's a warrant out for arrest. Alright. Well, that's not chill. Wait. <laughs> Looks like Gia. I came all the way to here to get you, and he's just going to give up like that. Because Tetra is clearly a bad person. Oh no. Is that Ho-Oh? I didn't know we were playing Pokemon Gold. Are we stuck in the first episode of Pokemon? Oh no. Oh no. That's trouble. Oh no. Okay, well, we're running. 
We are running, running, run, running, running. So, okay. Welcome to the Helmarok fight. This is annoying, but we have to make a race to the top. Oops. He will destroy the platforms around the arena, and as such, it is our duty to not drown. So, we are getting all the way to the top, boys and gals, and everybody in between. Rolling usually seems to be a better choice. That is roughly the fastest method of transportation that Link has with his little scooty scoot legs. Excuse me. But we got this nice little hammer. Oh, how's that feel, boy? You didn't like that, did you? All right, so don't be fooled by that. Do not jump down after him. The real battle has yet to begin. Ooh, yeah. Time to joust. Yeah. Now it's getting real. This is the true boss of the Forsaken Fortress. So we got plenty of work to do here with the big bird here. It's very creepy. This is probably one of the cooler fights in the game though. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I'd like you to stop. Oh, I didn't realize I was full health. Did the game heal me? I was not paying attention to my life at all. I would have to assume that it did. Alright, so obviously there are spikes in the walls. And he's trying to blow you into them. Was not aware of that. This is what I get for not paying attention. Whoa. Yeah, Z-targeting sometimes is great. And other times it's not. So, whoop. Hello. Show me your noggin. You know what to do, viewers. See, his head gets stuck and... Boop, there you go. He doesn't like that very much. Bonking him right on the head with our new hammer. Would be pretty painful. I don't know if you can damage him with the sword, but I'm also not going to waste time and try because this episode is already long. Come at me, bro. Alright, so it seems like this is kind of the majority of the fight is he's aggressively trying to blow us and then we should be able to give him the old bonk once he realizes that that's an ineffective tactic. He did not ask for consent. Ooh, I didn't know you could swipe with the hammer. I thought it was just a big old thwack. Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, this is a good fun fight. It's not... It doesn't really feel cheap, like some of them. But there is no way, unfortunately, to speed this up. Yeah, you just... Rinse and repeat these attack cycles. Oh, you can use the sword. Okay, that's what my notes say. My notes say stab bird. I didn't say with what though. Thank you, previous me. Yeah, I just... I don't want to give myself too much to work with, of course. Alright. I don't think this is a rule of thirds fight, unfortunately. So, let me do this a few more times. There we go. I do love the idea, though, that it's stupid enough to come after us and then get stuck in the arena. That's pretty funny. I like that. Ooh, I missed a cycle. I was not paying attention. Cool. For somebody that is concerned about how long this episode is, it would be nice. It would be nice. It'd be nice if I wouldn't uh, mess that up. I'm assuming the game, as you get further into the fight, it just kind of throws you a bone. It's like, all right, I get it. Ooh, his mask is off. Okay. I'm assuming that was something like its magic power. It definitely looks real scary with uh, those red eyes. Okay, so maybe not. 
Yeah, I, lo I love its design though. It's very cool. Kind of looks like Foghorn Lakehorn though. Like a big scary version of it. What, 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 what I say, what I say, I'm gonna break you with my big old beak. Alright, dude. Come on. Let's get this pop in here. You can turkey fried freak. Let's go. Come on. Okay. That sounds like a squeaky wheelbarrow. That is not the sound effect I would have expected from me stabbing this bird in the head. Alright. I need to stop doing that. I'm making myself very dizzy. Aside from me missing that cycle, this has been a relatively clean fight. I just want to pick you. Okay, maybe not. I don't know if there's a way to... Whoa. There's a way to aggro... Stop it. Stop jump slashing. I don't know if there's a way to aggro him to get the pecking to happen. Okay, I don't need two of this. Very much in the camp of wanting to be done. Okay. One more hit is all it took. Beautiful. Viewers, you'd love to see it. And that's another heart container for our troubles. Wonderful. But that is where I'm going to leave this off. Because we've got more story next time. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been The Legend of Zelda The Wind Awaker HD. And I'll see you next time for more. If you like this episode, if you could like, comment, and subscribe. And watch the YouTube shorts. Bye.